Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today the 12th of November, Holy Mother Church calls us to the memory of Saint Josephat Kulakswik. Saint Josephat was born in Lithuania. Then it was under the Ruthenian Church, separated from the Rome. Lithuania, somewhere in the eastern side, under the Orthodox. Orthodox. So it was the time when around 10 million Christians were brought into Roman Church uh, by the Union of Brest Litovsky. John, as he was called in his childhood, was an apprentice to the merchant. He became deeply attracted to religious life and at the age of 24 he took the Basilian monk, Basilian uh, habit for himself. He was ordained as a priest in 1609 and from there he would always live the love for Eucharist, live the love for priesthood in his life. He rose rapidly to uh, the state of abbot, coadjutor and then at the age of 38 he became the archbishop of Polotsk and he was always uh, uh, caught between the rivalry of the Catholics and the Orthodox clergy. In constant strife between the Uniates and the Schismatics, he showed an indefatigable zeal for converting souls to union with Rome. So much so that the Patriarch of Moscow uh, and a relative of the Greek Emperor both got converted into Catholic faith. So much so that the schismatics, his rivals, used to call him the thief of souls. Uh, at the time, the priests who were there were in Russia, in that region, they were not trained properly. It, uh, so uh, they even couldn't catechize or teach catechism. It was Josephat who was seen as someone who was so intellectual and uh, uh, so much so that he would correct the clergy and lead them towards the truth. His personal life as in was of uh, austerity and mortif mortification and frequent fast abstinence was part of his way of life. Consistently he would pray and ask the Lord pardon for the sins of many. One of the favorite ways of his prayer was that he would bend down to the floor and genuflect in front of God. He would pay obeisance to the Lord till his head touched the, touched the floor and he would pray, Jesus Christ have mercy on me, a poor sinner. So fruitful was Josephat's endeavors that hatred uh, of the schismatics for him grew by bounds and therefore they killed him and threw his body in the river. But his life brought that change, change not only in many people but also in the very people who killed him, in his oppressors and the Catholic Church thrived in those regions where Orthodox Church was dominating. Let us ask today the intercession of Saint Josephat who stood strong for faith, who stood strong for truth, that we may also stand strong for truth. Amen.